hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in one of my previous videos i showed you guys how to make this basic shirts pattern and in this video i'm going to be manipulating it to make a pleated shirt now it's going to be really really easy i promise you so sit back relax and enjoy this amazing tutorial let's get stitching guys So guys first off this is the zipper the fly zipper pattern that i've cut out in my fabric so you guys are going to see how i'm going to make it in this video then we have the shirts now you would notice that the measurement is larger so that's because i cut it out straight i didn't cut it out using the curve on the side so this is what you're going to get if you're doing a pleated shirt now if you're doing a normal shirt like your basic shirt you're going to cut it out with the measurements of the original pattern but now that i'm using a pleated shirt i'm going to just cut it out like this straight up there now guys for the back as well i've cut it out straight because i'm going to make it an elastic back it's not going to be a snug like fitted shirt so it's a half elastic waistband basically you're going to learn that as well in this video now let's go back to the front pattern so for this to get where we're going to place our pleats i'm going to go to where i have this original dart line so that middle line in the middle of that v i'm just going to mark it on my fabric and then mark half an inch on the left and half an inch on the right so just like i'm doing right here half an inch on the left and on the right and then i'm going to remove my pattern paper so now that we have these markings made i'm going to now connect those two lines the one on the left and the one on the right i'm going to connect them so they are facing directly at each other so now you're facing it right sides facing each other not wrong sides facing right sides facing and this is what it's going to look like now guys here i have it facing the side seam if you want it to face your side seam that's how you should do it but i wanted to face my center seam so i decided to change it so that it would face the center seam so that's what i did right here do it for the other shorts pattern and then we're going to work on our side pockets <laughs> So guys for our side inseam pocket we're going to be measuring three inches from the side seam so you're working on your front pieces right now so three inches go in from that side and mark it right there and then go down by 7.5 inches so that's three inches on the width and 7.5 inches on the length or the depth the next thing we're going to do is grab a fabric that is 14 inches wide by about 12 inches or 10 inches i cut out 9 inches here and i was wishing i made it longer so um if you want a small pocket or short pocket you can use this 9 inches that i used but if you want a deep pocket i would advise you to use you know above 10 inches now the next thing we're going to do is place our fabric right sides facing each other so right sides facing the uh, main shorts pattern basically and then we're now going to mark those lines again so the three inches by 7.5 inches we're going to mark it here so that we can sew it together so once you're done marking use your ruler to draw a slant representing it and pin it down because you're going to be sewing it all the way down so once you sew it it's going to look like you know something like this so we're not yet done but this is what you know this is an idea of how your pocket is going to look like but we've not sewn it yet so just go and sew it and that's what it would look like in the end so i'm going to go ahead to work on the second one and then sew this down right here so guys here i have sewn it and this is what it looks like i would advise you to also top stitch it so you can top stitch it on the inside or on the outside so once you top stitch it it's going to stay inside it's not even going to come out at all it's just going to stay put and then we're now going to take our fabric just like this so you're folding it wrong sides facing wrong sides so can you guys see what i'm doing so wrong sides are facing wrong sides right now so you're taking it under so that's how you should do it just take it under and then pin it down and sew it down right there yeah, 
and then after sewing it's going to look like this so what you're going to do now is you're going to now turn it inside out so just put it inside out just like i'm doing in this video and then top stitch it again so this is the second short pocket right here i have already top stitched it and this is what it looks like now you would see the inside it's clean like when you bring out your pocket it's going to be clean finish that is going to be there now guys you're now going to turn it to the front and align that three inches mark so the three inches you made on the pocket piece you are going to align it with the edge of your shirts so the edge of the pocket right here just like i'm doing right here you're going to align it and pin it down and sew it at that top so that everything just stays there nothing is going to like move on you or you know just just sew it so that it will just stay and then don't forget to pin the pocket as well on the side so that you can um, make it stay as well so that when you're sewing your side seams everything will just continue going straight down just like that now guys we're going to move to the zipper fly or fly zipper so this is my pattern here already cut out and then i'm going to just add interfacing to the back of every single piece so you're just going to iron your interfacing to it so that it can stay sturdy and then once you're done this is what you're going to have now guys you're going to take that four inch piece so the one that was four inches wide you're going to take it and fold it into two once you fold it into two you're going to sew on only one short edge so just one of the short edges that's where you're going to sew and then you're going to take the other one that is like a J shape and then you're going to sew along that J. So using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, that's what you're going to use to sew this J. So you're going to sew it along the J. So guys, here I have done it, I have sewn it and this is what it looks like. I've already ironed it as well so that it looks flat. Then you're going to take the folded piece, now the one that was 4 inches, so piece A. So remember we labeled it A and B. The J is B, A is the other one. So piece A, you're going to take it and then align your zipper with the edge of it. So the part where you have the raw edges, that's where you're going to align it. And then sew it right there along that raw edge side. So sew it like you're sewing a zipper. And sew it down right there so make sure you align your zipper well so that you don't have any mistakes or any bumps so align it really well and then sew it down right there now you're going to take your short piece that is for your left leg so the one for your left leg that's what you're going to take right here and then the fly piece b so the one that is j you're going to now align it as well and sew it using a quarter of an inch seam allowance so you are placing the edge, that's the straight edge, not the J part. You are placing the straight edge along the crotch side of your front piece basically. So just like I'm doing right here. So you are placing it on the center seam. So here I've aligned it and this is what it looks like. Now guys, I have sewn it and this is what it looks like. It looks really, really good. What I'm going to do now is fold it in just like this and then sew a top stitch right there so that it can stay inside. So you are sewing a top stitch right there so that your fabric and your fly piece wouldn't be, you know, flying around basically. Now then we're going to take the other shorts pattern that we've not worked on and you're going to take your zipper and place it right sides facing your shorts piece. So it should start from the top to wherever it ends on your shorts so this is what i have here i'm going to just place it on it and use my pin to hold it down so you're going to hold it down to the end and sew it right there so guys this is what it looks like i've pinned it down and i'm going to just sew it down right there so this is what it's going to look like when i'm done so when you're done you would also sew a top stitch so once you're done sewing it on the inside, you're going to top stitch it on the outside. Now guys, I am done sewing it and this is what it looks like. So guys, I lost the footage showing you guys how to sew, you know, your pieces together. So this is what I did. I sewed it 
right sides facing each other so you are going to put both short pieces and you're going to place it right sides facing each other and you're going to sew it along this crotch line using a quarter of an inch seam allowance so guys that's what you're going to do using a quarter of an inch seam allowance that's what you're going to do and then once you're done with that it's going to look somewhat like this so can you guys see it so when you zip it it's going to be so so clean now guys what we're going to do is turn your fabric to the right side open up your zipper and then so guys remove this part right here the one on the left hand side so that it doesn't you know catch the other side because we're going to be top stitching that one you don't want it to catch it so once you remove it you can even pin it down so that you don't even have any problem at all once you're done pinning we're now going to work on this other side so you're going to be top stitching on that j so just top stitch on the j right there so you're going to sew it along that j and then once that is done you're going to be done with the fly zipper so here look at it this is what it looks like i have sewn the j and it looks perfect so you're going to take your back pieces place them right sides facing each other and sew it along the crotch so from the waist to the crotch so that's what you're sewing you're sewing from the waist to the crotch the end of the crotch you're not sewing the legs so you're just sewing from the waist to the end of the crotch work i tired you first i write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse you never did shit i know it hurts something deep inside won't once that is done you are now going to place your fabric right sides facing each other so the front and the back piece right sides facing each other and you're going to sew along the sides as well so sew your side seams down and then you're almost done basically so can you guys see it here i've done it and this is what it looks like so you guys know me i always use french seam and this is what it looks like that's why it's clean on the inside here i'm now going to sew the crotch together so basically the legs so you're going to sew it down right there so i usually sew it from the center to the end of the leg then i'll turn it to the other side sew it from the center to the end of the other leg so that i won't have my um center seam you know being off balance so it's always better to sew it one leg than the other leg guys i am done sewing it and now it's time for our band so our uh, half elastic waistband so i'm just going to measure what i have along my waist so i'm going to measure this side measure it with the zipper um the fly zipper basically and then i'm going to note that down measure the other side whatever i have i'm going to note it down as well and then i'm going to measure the back so guys whatever you have you're going to add one inch to all of them and then you're going to cut that measurement by five inches so for mine i cut it out by five inches so if it was six inches i measured i'm going to add one inch to it which makes it seven inches by five inches so whatever you got measure it by five inches and add one inch basically to that width now guys this is my fabric right sides facing up I'm now going to take the other piece now make sure it's aligned well so i'm going to take the other piece and place its right sides facing down now even if it's not even aligned it can you know be aligned later because since i'm going to sew it on the side so sew it on the side seams and then right sides facing guys right sides right sides sew it on the side seams so here it is i have sewn it and then what i'm going to do right now is place it on it and then just now now is the time to now make sure that you are placing the right measurement on the right front part so just make sure you're placing it correctly and not the longer side because one side is usually longer than the other side 
so you're going to place it like that so just like i'm doing right here align both sides same spin it down and then pin it all around the waistline so just like i'm doing here pin it all around the waistline and sew it down i'm inspired by thirst i'm inspired by worth i desire your worst so you can just hide while i work i'm tired you first so guys while i was sewing i decided to sew this part down so this part where you see a white thread you're going to sew it down as well on yours so you're basically going to fold it right sides facing at the edge so that you can sew it right there and when i was working on it as well i also placed my loops so i wanted you know belt loops is uh, is optional basically and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to snip the corners of those places so that i can turn it so that when i turn it it's going to be really really smooth and clean so now that i've done that i'm now going to turn it inside out so you guys are going to see what i'm talking about basically so you're turning it inside out and everything is just clean and perfect now guys can you see it so once you're done with that you're now going to fold it inside just like this so you are hiding the raw edges basically now they're done with that we're now going to top stitch from the front side so you're going to align it basically and pin it accordingly so just the way i'm pinning it i'm now going to top stitch it right there like the point i want to top stitch is where i'm actually pinning so can you guys see it pin 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 you can add a million pins so that you can get the exact parts so, so that you won't make any mistake at the back so just pin it accordingly pin it correctly so once you're done pinning it all around this is what it's going to look like and then you're just going to top stitch it guys i have top stitched it and this is it i have also made a hole right here where i want to put my elastic through so that hole is going to help me insert my elastic very well so on both side seams you're going to leave a hole about one inch wide hole on that part now here i have my elastic that i want to use i'm going to use this one and a half inch wide elastic and i'm going to put it inside the back basically now you can use any size elastic so i'm going to use my safety pin to put it inside so you're going to just place it in just like this now when you're putting it in make sure it doesn't go inside because you might be doing it and this other side will just go in and you have to start all over again so be careful use your pin to hold it at the other side so that it doesn't go in now that that is done you're going to bring it out through the other side and then align it accordingly so make sure your elastic is straight and when you're done put that pin right there as well so that it doesn't move it doesn't you know just go away from there and then we're going to end our stitches right there so you are sewing both sides down and you are going to end that hole that we made the hole we made to put in our elastic you're going to top stitch it as well so that it covers everything so to finish our loops i'm just going to fold it down right there so just like i'm doing fold it in by about half an inch and sew it down right there so this is what it's going to look like in the end this is what your loop is going to look like looking so so cute and for the hem i'm going to fold it twice using half an inch seam allowance so half an inch first and half an inch again and then i'm going to down. so guys here i have done it and this is what it looks like it's looking beautiful already now for the band i decided to you know add one more line in the middle so that it doesn't you know move my elastic anyhow and this is what it looks like i've added my label added everything i need to add and this is the beauty i have right here in front of me wow this turned out really 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 nice look at the hem i have sewn it already the pleats turned out nicely i just ironed it flat so that it's you know pops basically and then i added two buttons with two hook and eye and this is what it looks like so it's it turned out really really great i'm so glad about this particular diy now in this video you'll see that i paired it with this amazing beautiful blazer like i have two versions of this blazer the same pattern two different versions guys i'm going to teach you guys how to make this pattern 
in one of my future videos so get ready watch out for it subscribe so that you can get notified when i post it and you know share this video within and outside your circle like this video comment in the comment section what else would you like me to talk about i'm always ready to you know work with your ideas also follow me on instagram at lara savage creations i'm always ready to reply your messages you know whatever you need just let me know if you have questions you can even ask me subscribe 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 and until my next video do have yourself a wonderful morning noon or night wherever you are it's still your favorite content creator and fashion entrepreneur lara savage signing out